Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to another day of school. Come, come, come to the computer. Come, come, come to the computer. Come, come, come to the computer. It's time to start our day. Sing with me again. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. I love the pip pip patter of the raindrops. I love the buzz buzz buzzing of the bees. But the thing I love the best, the very, very best, is to know, is to know, is to know, is to know, is to know that God loves me. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways. And step by step, you'll lead me, Lord, and I will follow you all of my days. And I will follow you all of my days. And I will follow you all of my days. And step by step, you'll lead me, Lord. And I will follow you all of my days. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. Now let's sing our prayer song. Father, we thank thee for the night and for the heaven's morning light for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair help us to do the things we should to be to others kind and good in all we do and work and play to grow more loving every day now we're going to say our prayer god is listening god is listening when we pray when we pray, bow your head so quietly, close your eyes so tightly, now we'll pray, now we'll pray. Dear God, thank you so much for another beautiful day, and thank you for all the things that we have here on earth. Thank you for creating this whole world for us, and that you give us the sunshine, you give us the wind, you give us the flowers, the grass and trees, and water to drink. Thank you so much for taking such good care of us and dear Lord, we want you to know that we love you and we ask that you help us to have a great day today. In Jesus name, amen. Okay, we're gonna stand for our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week, there are seven days in a week. 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now yesterday was Thursday, so today is, what day is today? You're right, it's Friday. What letter does Friday start with? That's right, it's an F. What sound does F make? You're right, Friday. Today is Friday, today is Friday. All day long, all day long. Yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. All day long, all day long. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Or is it windy? What is it today? I, it's sunny at my house. I hope it's sunny at your house too. It is sunny. It is sunny. It is sunny out today. Oh, I am so glad it's sunny so that I can go and play. All right, today is Friday, April, and yesterday was the 16th. So what's today's date? What is today? April the what? Say it again. That's right. It's the 17. Let's count to get there. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So let's say the whole date together. Ready? Friday, April 17th. 2020. And this week, we have been talking about ladybugs. We've learned a lot about ladybugs this week, haven't we? We learned that they have six legs and they're insects. We've learned that they're boys and girls, that not all ladybugs are red. We learned that they taste and smell bad to their predators. And we read about their wings and wing covers because they fly. And we said they like to eat aphids. And we are so excited to learn so much about them. Did you know that God made all the creatures and animals and bugs and everything here for a purpose? And so one thing that the ladybug does when he eats those aphids off of the plants, it helps keep the plants growing so they can be healthy and strong. And did you know that sometimes farmers will release a bunch of ladybugs in their farmland to keep the other bugs and things from destroying their plants? So that's really cool. So they have a very important purpose, don't they? And also, we like to look at them and see how they look, because they're so pretty. All right, sing this song with me about the ladybug. I'm a little ladybug, pretty as can be. I am an insect you can see. I am brightly colored with spots of black. You can see them on my back. Let's sing it again. And if you don't, you don't have a ladybug with you, you can go like this. I'm a little ladybug, pretty as can be. I am an insect you can see. I am brightly colored with spots of black. You can see them on my back. Good job. And then there's another song that we can sing just for fun. See the ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. See the little ladybug flying here and there. Now it's landing on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Now it's landing on the ground and crawling all around. That's kind of a fun song. Today I'm going to read you a fun book about a ladybug. And it's kind of fun because you get to look for our ladybug. She's hiding all in the book. So we're going to read it. And this book is called Ladybug, Ladybug, Where Are you, Y-O-U spells you. And it was written by someone named Cindy Zickers. What kind of animals are those? Yeah, those are mice. So this tells me the characters in our story are mice. Ladybug, ladybug, where are you? 
By their nest at the meadow's edge, a mama and a papa mouse were busy gathering seeds and blossoms and berries. Their two children played nearby. Sam wore a hat made of newspaper that mama had found. Emily whacked weeds with a stick that papa had found. We're going to find something too, they said. Stay close to home, papa said. I'm gonna see other little bugs there. Here they go. Sam found a long silky ribbon. Emily found a shiny glass jar. Their good friend Ladybug was sitting on top of it. We can catch something in this, Emily squeaked, and Ladybug can help us. You see your Ladybug? There she is. The two little mice tied the ribbon around the jar, and then they pulled it into the clover. Let's catch that bee, Sam cried. No, said Emily, bee is busy gathering nectar to make honey. What do you think, Ladybug, asked Sam. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Do you see where the Ladybug is? <gasps> I see her hiding, she's right there. A beautiful butterfly fluttered over a cluster of milkweed. Let's put her in our jar, exclaimed Emily. If we touch her, we might hurt her soft wings, said Sam. Then she couldn't fly anymore. What do you think, Ladybug? asked Emily. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Do you see where the Ladybug is? Where is she? <gasps> yep, there she is. I hope you see her. Right there. By a mound of moss and mushrooms, Sam found a giant anthill. We can catch some ants for our jar, said Sam. But they're busy carrying food back to their nest, Emily said. What do you think, Ladybug? asked Sam. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Now, on this one, can you see where she is? I'm going to hold it still for a second. Do you see the Ladybug? <gasps> there she is, you're right. She's hiding right there. High above Emily's and Sam's head, a lacy web curtained the sweet mint. Maybe Spider will spin a web in our jar, whispered Emily. She seems so busy making this one, said Sam. What do you think, Ladybug? Asked Emily. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Can you see the Ladybug? Where is it? You see where she's hiding? That's right, there she is. All right, let's see next what happened. A graceful dragonfly rested on a daisy. He won't even fit in our jar, said Sam Sign. Besides, dragonflies catch mosquitoes. Then we're not bothered by them, Emily said. What do you think, Ladybug? Asked Sam. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna hold it close. Do y'all see the ladybug? Where is he hiding? Do you see it? There she is, right there. The little mice rested in the goldenrod. A great green grasshopper jumped over their heads. Spectacular, they exclaimed. If we put him in our jar, he couldn't jump anymore, said Sam. That would make him very sad. What do you think, Ladybug? asked Emily. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Mm, I don't see her. Do y'all see her? I have to get really close. Do you see where the Ladybug is? She's hiding. Did you find her yet? I'm gonna show you. She's right, right there hiding. Barely see her. Among the violets, Sam heard a cheery chirp, chirping. Under the leaves, he found a large cricket. He stroked its long, wavy feelers. Cricket probably won't be happy in a jar either, said Sam. Do you see the ladybug on this page? Yeah, I see it right there. Nobody would be happy in a jar, complained Emily. What do you think, Ladybug? 
asked Sam and Emily both at once. Ladybug, Ladybug, where are you? Do you see where she is now? <gasps> Look where she is. She's on top of his hat. Dust covered the meadow and a soft rain began to fall. It was time to go home. Sam and Emily went to pull their jar. It was a glow. Three fireflies looking for a dry place had found their way inside. See the ladybug. Do you see the ladybug on this page? <gasps> yeah, there she is right there. Okay, let's look over here. Their bright lights lit the way home. Do you see the ladybug? Where's the ladybug? When the rain stopped, the fireflies flew out of the open jar. They circled over four tired mice tucked under their cozy quilts, fast asleep. But who's that sleeping in Sam and Emily's jar? <gasps> ladybug, ladybug, there you are. That's funny, she was there the whole time. Did you notice there were a lot of other insects on this in this book? There were lots of insects. Look at all the insects we saw in this story. There was a butterfly, a grasshopper, a dragonfly, a cricket, a bee, ants, a spider, and fireflies. All of those are insects. And do you know, in the next week, we're going to be talking about insects too. So you can be thinking of those because we're going to be looking at other insects besides our ladybug. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to find something in your house. It can be a little bug like a ladybug toy or it can be a block. It could be a marker. It could be anything you can find. And if they have time, you can kind of play hide and seek with it. Go hide it somewhere and ask either your sister, mom, dad, your babysitter, grandma, grandpa, to see if they can find it. And that would be a fun game. Then take turns and let them hide it for you. And you can kind of be like little ladybug in our story, looking for something that's hidden. And I'm also gonna send home on your computer if they can get it. I have a little fun color picture that you can color of a ladybug just for fun. And if you want to color that one, you can color that one and hide it around the house and see if anyone can find it. All right, well, we're going to take our break now, but get a snack, maybe eat your lunch, uh, have a break, go play outside, and then I'll see you back for lesson two in just a little bit. Bye.